Last week on It Takes Guts to Be a Gutierrez. Alam mo ang wedding kasi, hindi yan naglalaro eh. Hmm. Kasi serious naman yan eh. Serious matter na yan. You have to sign a contract and everything. So what's my first step? Join us on Thursday. Okay. Um, we'll have a coach watch your form. Okay. It's form first and foremost. The end goal is we're signing up, signing you up for a race. Yeah. Two races. The first race, we're, already the first race we're signing you up for is just a five kilometer run. That's so easy. Okay. Just a run. 30 minutes. Just a Are run. Are those the fun runs? Yes. yes. I heard that you bought Lorene furniture. Baby, there's lots of, uh, you know, things in the storage. You have to use that. Lorena, oh, baby, okay? They are 25 years old. Okay, I'll, I'll check, okay, baby, I'll check. How will you check? Dude, I learned about this in fifth grade. You don't have to tell me everything. No I way. I haven't learned. Grade. What grade are you in? I, I'm going, you don't even know the grade. I was going to become high school. And you don't have to talk to me about sex ed. I already learned about that. Why are you just years? saying the word? Lorena, you, you said. just said the word. <laughs> Father decided to take Venice and I furniture shopping because we are moving into a new house and we needed new furniture for the new house. Special furnitures. First time I saw the place, it's so big. Lots of good furnitures and nice furnitures. I don't even know what to choose. That dimensione was huge and I was really excited and I checked all of the furniture. Oh, I like that chair. <laughs> this table, though, how much is this? How much for is that this? table long is 440,000. 440,000? Yes, folks. <laughs> this one's also nice. I like the color, oh. Yeah. Where are you going to put this? In the living, living room. Hi, ang ganda. I like this one. Then you can out. Oh. Pag may extra guest, no? Yes, ma'am. I feel like originally because she brought Venice and I along, it seemed like it was supposed to be a shopping trip for Venice and I. But the tables turned and she was shopping for Tita Richard's future house that hasn't even been built yet. Laura. Wait, Lorraine. There's lots of... What are we looking for? There are choices, Venice. Yeah, but what are we looking for? Dining. And then for the living room. So why did me and Lorraine come? I thought they have uh, something for the kids. Well, uh, furniture doesn't have an age limit. <laughs> she decided to focus on the living room and the dining room, which Venice did not seem too happy with. As of now, I want to get that dining. Give me the discount dining table, dining chairs, huh? I found the lamp. There isn't a lamp, it's the lamp. And I really wanted that lamp. It was beautiful. Para sa anyan dong? Lamp, yeah, for the room, the room, yes, it's for anything. Lorene liked that lamp too, so she got another one. Can I get the lamp? I just want the lamp. I came here for myself, not for the dining room, Lola. So no, why, why did you invite me here? It's only I'm 11. Just, I'm not even gonna have a preference of my stuff. I was disappointed in my own Lola. Hey, turn on now. I'm jam my head again. I'm not there. finished yet. We have to look around because your mommy needs New furniture, she so said. why did you bring us here again, Lola? Lola thought that I had fun. It was probably the worst shopping trip I've had with Lola. Well, now, yeah, I know. I like that one. I I'm gonna get that. She bothered me. I'm gonna sleep. I don't know what to I'm having Korean food because the girls want to go to go Korea. To Korea. <laughs> Why? They're so into K-pop, the K-drama. Yeah. Your hair is at the Uso now. Yeah. And, well, it's already a trend, so I'm not making it a trend. 
I think if I use it, it's not gonna fit me. It's just really hot outside. It's hot, I know, yeah. right? And I can't deal with the weather. Anyways, I heard you're doing, um, you're organizing a charity or something. Well, it's something I've always wanted to do, you know, because I have the Roof of Child Foundation, and I think I wanna, I want to uh, revive it. I launched the Rufa Child Foundation in 1998, and it was a time when I was very, very busy with my life. You know, I had just won Miss World, second princess, and I felt so successful that I really wanted to give back. Thus, the Rufa Child Foundation was born. I really want to do something, you know, for um, women who have been abused. I've actually done that before with yeah. um, people Gina de Venetia. I or something with a you know, with children. So maybe we can come up with something and do like a, a Gutierrez fun run or a yeah. Gutierrez charity thing. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be Rufa Child. You know, it could be, you know, under my foundation, which is the Rufa Child Foundation, but you know, the whole family can participate. Yeah. I really wanted to talk to Sarah about this and get her involved as well. And I think we can do a joint project and just get everyone involved. It's such a great idea to have everyone in the family join her foundation for uh, a great cause. Since everyone now is into fitness, even if I haven't worked out in three weeks, I my God, it's so hard. I want to do like a fun run or... I would love to do something like that. The thing um, is, I don't run. I'm not sure about the marathon part, if everybody would be game for that, but it's a good idea. It could be, I don't know, giving away clothes or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. I, you know what? I have to do a charity bazaar because I have yeah. so much clothes, like seriously. It's really to help underprivileged children. It's to help them with schooling. It's to put a roof on their heads. We always try and give back because we're always so blessed and that's what Ate Rufa is doing. And she knows that if she needs me and Char, then we're always here for her. I really want to do this. I really want to get the family involved. And now the planning should start. Hi, Tita. How are you? Okay. Hello, Sophie. That's uh, Tita Rosel, the daughter of mother. Mother said you have to be in the showbiz, you know. Mm -hmm. She's the one number one producer right now, Mother yes. Lily. I had a meeting with the producer, Mother Lily, and she also owns Regal Films. She has produced hundreds of films that won multiple awards, and she's a pillar in the entertainment industry. I've heard that there's an offer for both of them to be with Regal. We asked for a meeting, actually, because I think you saw Mother, and yeah, and the dinner. We had dinner. We always see each other. So because that's the reason why Lola. you guys are here because Lola we asked your mom to. So mm -hmm. I want to see both of you. When we got there, I didn't really expect much. I just thought Lola was gonna have us have lunch with one of her friends, which happens a lot. And then they just started talking about like a movie and like showbiz, and I was like, whoa, okay, that escalated very quickly. I like showbiz. Ooh. I like showbiz, but I want to also make sure that it doesn't interfere with school. Oh yeah, it can be combined. Once a week or twice a week after your classes, we will go for a workshop. Mother Lee will do the workshop. Yeah, I can guide you. For sure, in the aspect of who wants to enter showbiz, I think it's really obvious that Venice is that's like her dream. Somebody actually wants to make a movie with me, and that is such a big opportunity because it was my childhood dream. Richard and Raymond grew up here in Regal, and then uh, your mom, and then your grandfather, Lolo Eddie. And your mom had a movie, did you see it? Yeah, yeah Monster, Monster Mom. Mom. Monster Mom. Oh, Monster yes. Mom. I like it. It's very <laughs> accurate. Well, you not. <laughs> I think my grandma wants us to join showbiz, definitely, because pretty much all of her kids have dabbled at least into showbiz. Are you excited, Venice? So yes, I'm excited. Yay! Congratulations. How about you, Lorraine? What do you want? I don't want to get down here. Here, when it's showbiz, I have to talk and talk like Venice. Yes, I'm excited. 
excited. Wow. That's good. I think that I'm willing to do smaller projects, for example, shoots or commercials or like guestings. Things like that are easy because they only take like they only take a small portion of time, but something like a movie, which is what Lala was suggesting, that's just such a long-term project. I think that Lala is going to push for the movie, and I would love to do a movie. But if that interferes with my school, then I don't think I can do it anymore. I Hopefully, there's more projects to come, but I hope that they will come at the right time. You like them? Of course. Very much. Both. Both of you. The bloodline of Gutierrez. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. The Gutierrez family means a lot to us. Huh? After weeks of convincing me, I'm finally here and for the very first time I agreed to run with Bubbles. It's my first time actually, so... so are you ready? We're just gonna do like a quick maybe 3 or 5k. It's 5k? That's like 30 minutes. Do you understand that I have a fear of running, right? Like growing up, I hated running. I hated running. Out of so all the okay. sports, like I, I can try tennis, I can try swimming, yeah. I can try all these things. I don't know why. I think I had a fear as a kid because of PE class. I grew up hating long distance running, so this is such a big moment for me. So I know you're not like a running coach or anything like that, but you've yeah. been running a while. Mm -hmm. So I just want to know like, you guys mentioned like proper form. Yeah. Because with me, like running is like putting one leg in front of the other. Yeah. But what's like the proper well, form? It's, it's basically that, putting one leg in front of the other. But you have to push off with okay, the ball so of your foot. Wait. Make sure that it's not the heel that strikes down and it's this one. And then your hands will just go wherever, just relax your shoulders. Just have to make sure your shoulders are down and you're relaxing your arms. So just, wait, can I try it? Sort of like that. <laughs> yeah, try to relax your arms, like don't force the swinging. No? In, uh, um, I, hate this all, I hate this already. <laughs> I felt a little bit awkward in the beginning just because I didn't know there were so many things to think about when you're running. The way your foot lands, the way you put your arms up, the way you breathe, and it was just so technical, and I'm like, this is a lot to handle right now. Check my... Is this okay? Uh, try more on both of your feet, because your heel's striking now. Uh, so... More at the front of the feet? Yeah. I'm enjoying it so far. How is my form? Your form is nice. It's okay. Are you? That's you being nice. It's <laughs> Can you okay. tell it came from my nose? Yeah. Um, no, but, but I, I mean... Definitely a lot of improvement. Yeah, needed. like <clears throat> if you meet up with, with Coach Ige, I'm yeah. sure he's gonna, gonna correct you. Yeah. But it's not gonna be over overnight. For a beginner, you're actually doing good. Because okay. I remember my first time, I was like, oh my god. So this is literally my first day to do this? Yes. Yeah. So let's continue? So is that, yeah. Okay, let's do it. This is downhill, so it's going to be faster. Okay. I wonder what's next. <laughs> let's see after today. Let's sign you up for a race. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, that's kind of just like asking me for too much right now. I just finished my first training session and Artie, she wants me to do a marathon. I consulted with my feng shui experts and they said that the house was not yet ready to move into, but I had to sleep there on a certain night before ghost month. I figured we have to have the house blessed and I feel that before sleeping there we have to have the priest come and make sure that the house has been blessed. In the name of the Father and of the Son and, and of the Holy Spirit. Spirit, the Lord be with you. Also. To Christ the Lord. Amen. It is a blessing, house blessing, weddings, Maureen. What do you think? All the swirls are coming in already? 
Yes, it's just we need Wi-Fi and a stove mm -hmm. and, and a refrigerator fridge. and a place to sit. Yep. Tomorrow we're going to go shopping. We're going to buy the appliances and everything's going to be great. Well, okay, so what I want to know is how was your meeting Venice with Mother Lily? It was good. Usually mothers are always the first to know, but in this case, I was the last to know. So I heard that she's offering you a, a movie. Is that true? Well, or she's what, thinking about it? I don't know about that. Roselle said, that's the producer, actually, the daughter, Roselle Monteverde. Actually, Roselle... Mommy, let Lola speak. I want to hear Lola. Okay, she's very excited. And she said, next week, oh. you're going to have a meeting with Roselle, Mother Lily, the scriptwriter, and the director. They want to see your personality, if you can act. I was really shocked to hear about the news, but I was excited at the same time. So I asked the kids about it, and they were just nonchalant about it. I want to bring David though, because I feel like David wants us more than Lorraine. I think Lorraine... Lorraine Lorraine's honestly changes her mind all the time. You know what? She... I, actually, I'm, I'm quite <clears throat> shocked with Lorraine, because Lorraine has so many offers, like, so many brands, yeah, like even Mickey one. Mouse, like Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck want to celebrate with her. You know what she said? Mm -hmm. Mom, I'm turning 14, not four. After our blessing for a new house, my mom decided to bring up the meeting, which was like made me kind of uncomfortable because I still hadn't told anyone that I didn't actually want to do it. Baka may mga nagpipigil sa iyo ha sa sampalin ko lahat yang mga ano niyan. Baka meron na yan ha kasi you told me before I'm so excited bring me to Viva, bring me to Mother Lily. I want to act, I want to be yeah, in what? showbiz. Yeah, and then I realized I want to actually be the first person in this family to finish college. The thing with Lorene and Venice is one day they're very excited. They want to do showbiz. They love all the perks that go with it. And then one day they're like, no, mommy, we don't want to do it. We're focusing on our studies. I want to finish college too, but I'm, I'm focusing on school first, but on the sidelines when I have nothing to do, just like, like what I'm doing now, nothing, with packing my unpacking I think, stuff. I think, I, I think. can do something. <laughs> Yeah, but you can't just film a movie whenever you want. It's not your own schedule. It's them who makes up the schedule. Yeah, exactly. But like, we can accept projects when we're on break. Yeah, but you can't make a movie just out of weekends. Well, anyway, you don't affect my life, so I can do whatever I want, not you. What the frick? Why are you so dramatic? Well, now that summer vacation is over, I would rather that my daughters focus on their studies, and they can probably do a cute, nice movie during Christmas break. Calling Mother Lily, hello. So right now, it's back to school. I want them to focus on their studies. No internet, no TV, no projects, and just school, study, school, study, maybe on the weekends. I think Tutamon wants to meet up with you girls because he wants to have a very important conversation. About what, wait? We will find out. I found out that Lorene and Venice had a meeting with big time producer and close family friend Mother Lily. I heard that Lola wants both of you to enter show business. I'm very against it though. She wants you to do a movie. Honestly, I'm not gonna say yes. I already told her. No, honestly. I don't think she gets it. Honestly, like like you know, I like every child's dream to like be in a movie. That's you cool. wanna try the movies. Get it? Please. So okay. I think she wants to do it, like Secretly. Yeah. I'm also noticing that the girls are being packaged together, even if they have different interests. I want to talk to you guys because I don't know if I want you to go the traditional show business route. I mean, the whole family has tried it, but now it's a new generation. And I'm not sure if movies is the proper route for you guys. He was basically letting us know that he didn't think that we'd be suited for a movie, which I agreed with. And I let him know that I don't want to do showbiz. So I'm thinking, I don't know if you'll agree. What if we do internet celebrities? YouTube, social I media. Feel like I want, I already have uh, social media and yeah. I do want to do YouTube, but like, I feel like I don't want to do it just for showbiz. I want to do it just for fun because I don't want showbiz to be my career. Like, I want to go to college and 
finish college and like actually like do something not related to do with the industry or yeah. having a following. And, and I respect that. And I and I love that you're saying that because I feel like you don't need to be stuck in whatever everyone else is doing. Yeah. Nowadays, there's different types of celebrities. It's no longer just doing movies. So there's social media, there's internet, there's YouTube, there's so many different platforms for people to engage with their followers. Okay, what about this? I have another idea. Since you guys seem to be a little confused as to which direction to take, what if I manage you guys? He offered like to manage Venice and I. You, you know saying? why? <laughs> because a lot of my friends have asked me to manage them. But I feel like I don't have the time and, you know, it's very demanding. But with you guys, since it's not full time, maybe I can. Maybe it's my first foray into managing artists. I don't know if I want to be in showbiz at all, though. Like, it doesn't have to be showbiz. It could be anything. It could be branded content. It could be social media. It could be event appearances. It could be magazine covers. It could be features. It could be articles. It could be collaborations. It doesn't need to be show business. I'm willing to do this for Loreen in Venice and see where this goes. I trust Tita Raymond, but will he get me the stuff that I would like to do? So what do you think of my idea? I'm okay with it. I think you just need to run it past Mommy and Lala though. So that How do you think it. they would react? I think uh, Mommy would be fine with it, like completely fine. Um, Okay, what if, what if I'm not your sole manager? But, but I just feel like you're very busy. You don't have time for us. I am very busy. Exactly. I know that Venice is doubting that I'll have the time to manage them. I don't like failing and I like the challenge. So Venice, I'm going to take on this challenge and show you what I have. Okay, shake on it. This is an official business deal. This is officially a business meeting. Next week on It Takes Guts to Be a Gutierrez. Yeah. For the past four months, I've been playing the role of Sandrino. Even though I'm a villain, people are still asking me for a picture and still rooting for me. I took a break from producing events and this is gonna be my first major one. A few weeks ago, I had a suspicion. I had to keep my eyes on Sarah, make sure that she was okay and she was feeling fine. 